Hello, it's your boy J4 Peace back with another video. And today I'm gonna tell you guys an interesting uh, theory. But before we get into that, 92% of you people are not subscribed. So please to support, like, share, subscribe, turn on notification bell for more content. Let's get into the video. Now, I have a theory. Now, as you know, there's a live stream on July 21st and the 22nd. And my theory is, is that I don't think we are going to get EX announced that live stream, but we're going to get a bounty festival announcement live stream, but they're going to announce another live stream for the following week. Now, let me tell you why. Now, Big Mom, now this is hypothesis, so don't mm, don't get too crazy, okay? But this is hypothesis. Now, Big Mom's banner is ending in 13 days on July 26. These two are ending their banner on July 26, right? These 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 don't matter. These don't matter, right? These two don't matter. But when do we get an EX around the end of the month, right? Now let me show you something. So as you can see here, we're getting a live stream Friday or the Saturday, right? These two days, okay? Now, last year, we got Film Red Uta around a Saturday and a Sunday. Now we didn't get her, we got her in early August, but it was around the same dates, okay? The special event was a Film Red unit. Well, movie units. It was celebration of movie time. This year's celebration is One Piece Day 23, right? It's a big celebration. It's celebrating the Gears or whatever, which I don't believe Gear 5 Luffy is going to be released this month. It just doesn't make sense in my opinion, right? And now, now get this. Now, as you can see here, she was leaked on august 4th right if i'm not mistaken august 4th okay she was leaked on august 4th they did a live stream remember you all remember they did a live stream early august they released her as a solo bounty festival she was a very very powerful bounty fest everybody knows uta is very powerful and then they released film red luffy i think around the I think they released Film Red Luffy, I think, during the week as well, around like Thursday or, or Wednesday, right? They released her. Now, look at this. She was leaked on the 4th, the 5th, the 6th. We got, a, I think we got a live stream on the 5th, okay? We got a live stream on the 5th. And she was released on the 6th, right? Now, we go here, right? We go to July 21st. We're, I think we're either getting the panel on the 21st or the 22nd, if I'm not mistaken. It's one of these two. So we're either going to get the new Bounty Festival probably on the Sunday. Remember, every year, there's, it's always a day after so let's say last year was a tw the 20th the next year will be the 21st then it'll be the 21st and the next will be the 22nd remember a day always goes forward to like another day right so what if what if on that live stream we get an announcement of a new bounty festival which it could be sanji in my opinion it could be sanji right well, I, I, I think he deserves an EX unit as well, but I think it makes sense for him to be a lone bounty festival. He might he might even be not guaranteed, you know, just to shaft a lot, make you be people, you use off your gems, because Sanji is a very hyped character, right? He's going to be a very, very powerful bounty fest, right? Let's say if it's Sanji, right? Use that same, release him on the weekend, okay? Release him on the weekend, so probably the Sunday on the 23rd, right? Okay, 
release him on a Sunday, but also in that same live stream while they celebrating One Piece Day 23 or whatever, which is gonna have English translation, okay? Which remember last year's live stream had also had English translators, and that's when they announced. I think I don't. I think they announced Zephyr as well, but they also announced Uta and Luffy. I don't know if they released announced them on the same live stream, but you guys can remind me if that's is, but we did have like english translators or whatever talking about it okay but uta was and was like leaked or something as a bounty festival so we might get something like that of the same way where well, they'll announce a bounty festival and probably would put a trailer out put, probably put a fun trailer out you know what i'm saying and then they also will announce another live stream on that on this upcoming live stream announce another live stream for the 25th or the 26th they will announce another live stream for the 25th or the 26th probably the 26th of the uh, in that you know depending on which time you're at you know and then they release the the ex on the 27th now probably they'll probably announce in my opinion, they might announce a, a, a live stream on the 25th because Big Mom's banner is ending on the 26th and the two bounty festivals are ending on the 26th. Y'all see what I'm getting at here? Y'all see? Y'all see? I don't know. So, and of course, there, I think, you know what I'm saying? So, like, what do you guys think? What do you guys think, guys? I I, I really want to know because and it's just a theory I, I've been thinking about. You know, you know it matches between whatever, whatever. So you know, so like yeah. So hope you. I want you guys to like leave your. What do you guys think of this theory? What do you, what, what's your guys' theory? What's your opinion? What's your um? You know. What's your what what's your uh, what what what's your opinion on this? What do you think is gonna happen? What do you think who's gonna be released? What do you, do you think this is? Do you think it's gonna kind of align? I know OPBR has been uh, kind of unpredictable, you know, but you know it's it's kind of possible because think about it. If the live stream is on the twenty first or the twenty second, okay, why would they want to wait at least three to four days to release another EX? Because we know we're guaranteed to get another EX. I, I think that's guaranteed right why would, why would we want to wait four to five days to another ex that makes no sense right so why don't you release a bounty fest to build the hype okay and then you know and then release the another live stream where we announce the exes and what a, a way what a good bait think about it what a good bait we have sanji as a bounty festival then the exes could be in my opinion in my personal opinion it could be law and kid as a duo ex not the same as law and not the same as luffy and whatever i'm luffy and law or Luffy, whatever but like an individual dual unit and then we get gear five luffy for august you see what i'm saying? like don't you see the bait like don't you see like don't y'all think isn't that a way to get niggas to spend off their gems or get, you know, people that are aiming for the, I'm just talking about people that are aiming for gear five, right? But it's not a great bait, right? People love Sanji. People love law. People love, why don't you release them in like five, six days apart? Right? 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 Uh, you know, it's one piece day, one piece day 23 is a special day. Last year of film the film red whatever it was a special day they're doing a film red uh, event a little event who knows maybe they might release a new film red characters who know my nigga you don't know my nigga you know what i'm saying so a little, 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 little thing for you guys to think about i want you i want you guys to in your comment just leave comments in your comments like what's your what's your theory what do you guys think i want to know what you guys think share your opinions on what this on what this is please tell me because shit your boy your boy your boy kind of confused bruh your boy a little confused i just a little thing i've been thinking about but 
I want you guys to let me know down below. Please let me know. Anyway, thank you guys for watching the video. Like, share, subscribe. Turn on notification bells for more content. Stay blessed, guys. I love you. Peace.